Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team for our twice monthly video blog series. Now our last video talked about buyer regrets and today we're going to talk about seller regrets. Most people think, well you sold your house, what kind of regrets could you have? Well a lot of it actually revolves around preparing your home for sale. Some folks, and it's actually pretty evenly split, said, I, I didn't prepare enough, I should have done the staging, I should have listened to the realtor, and, and I think I got less money or I didn't get enough traffic because my home wasn't prepared. On the flip side, and this is also very personality driven, you have sellers that looked at every nook and cranny and over prepared, put way too much effort into preparing their home and it was incredibly stressful. Now the other thing that was interesting with the seller regrets is that sellers often regretted choosing a seller, choosing a buyer only based upon price alone. And they're thinking, Andy, what's all that matters? We want as much money as possible. Well, you're right, we wanna maximize market value, no doubt about it, but at the end of the day, look at the entire package. How qualified are these buyers? Going through the ringer and delaying closing months and months and months while we wait for a mortgage for this one buyer simply isn't worth it. Think about it, if your loan, if the buyer's loan and your sale gets delayed a month or two, that's an extra month of paying taxes, that's an extra month of paying insurance and keeping the house in great condition before you close. Things to think about. My name is Andy Sachs with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team. I look forward to working with you soon.